If you want to know the best and quickest way to clean up audio in DaVinci Resolve, this is the video for you. Let's check it out. So here on my timeline, I've got a clip that I filmed outside of my house and it's running next to a street. It's really noisy. Let's take a listen. This is me walking outside where it's very noisy and I'm just using the camera as mic nothing fancy so like you can see there's a lot going on and i'm going to show you how to get rid of all the background noise in this video while still having great audio quality now the plugin that we're going to be working with is voice isolator voice isolation and this comes standard with davinci resolve but there's two ways of using it so stay tuned to see how to apply this to your whole project as well so first of all with the clip selected go to your inspector window under the audio page once you've opened that you'll see that you've got the voice isolation section over there enable that and immediately it will give you an option with amount so it goes from zero to a hundred and let's take a listen at what the hundred percent voice isolation sounds like this is me walking outside where it's very noisy and i'm just using the camera as mic nothing fancy so already you, we've gotten rid of all the background noise but the voice is sounding a little bit tinny so what i would recommend is turning the amount down until you are satisfied with the result but if you've got a big project with a lot of clips that needs a noise reduction then this is the best way to apply this filter to those clips so say for example we've got um multiple clips on our timeline and we want to apply voice isolation to all of these clips the way to go about that is to go to the fairlight page so just click on this audio icon at the bottom and in the fairlight page go to the channel where all of this audio is sitting on which is audio one and on on the audio one mixing track you'll see there's a voice iso option over there so click that round button it's a red button once you click it and that means that it's enabled once you've enabled that click on that mixing um, icon over there and that's going to open up the option so here you can also then reduce the amount or increase the amount it always starts at 100 so i would recommend always turning it down until you've got the best results so guys happy editing i'll see you in the next video cheers